Marie-Ève, you are welcome. Thank you, Tere Ramurel. Kiala Ramurel, I'm a Chuba Rafu. Ramuroli, same foundation. I'm a Chuba Ami. Kiala Ramurel, you are all welcome into Alexandra City. A response to South Africa's healthcare challenges would be to address the social determinants of health as a national priority to strengthen the healthcare system and facilitate access to quality healthcare for all South Africans. Whether you are living that side of the M1 or this side of the M1. And that was Madiba's vision. That was Nelson Mandela's vision. And we are letting him down. But there is hope. Today, we are witnessing the generosity of an impact investor. The Road Accident Fund is here to announce, to demonstrate, and to show that they care. And we salute them. Might be a good idea to just give them a round of applause. <laughs> the organization which I represent, the same foundation, is a living, breathing organism whose sole mission is to equalize healthcare for all South Africans, for all citizens. Our mandate is to abate and reduce the unhealthy disparity in the healthcare sector. Today, we are gathered here as stakeholders and partners to give the people of Alexandra hope. They're not forgotten. And we are done with meetings. We are done with promises. It's time to act, it's time to deliver, and we are ready. Thank you. I think, for me, the importance is what Mark has said about the Road Exceeded Fund. We espouse the vision of a better South Africa and an equal society. And I think if you marry it to the owner of this day, he said it is an ideal for which he is prepared to die. And I think when someone says at that age I'm prepared to die for this, you must understand what that means. Someone has spent 27 years in prison wanting what we are still striving for today. I think it's an indictment on us, but I don't think that we must despair because there is somewhere we start. Um, I have seen the numbers here, and I think the most interesting is the part of the pedestrian statistics. Now, I know that uh, there is doctor client confidentiality or doctor patient confidentiality maybe but I can guarantee you that at least according to the statistics we have 68% of them were drunk that's a fact so there's a number of pedestrian accidents that we are seeing and I think our roads are also not that forgiving I'm sure that the drunk people of Santa are not hit by cars so road safety at some point becomes also an economic matter and I think it's something that we must forgive Coming back to today, when we started this, the view was that when we were going to come and pay, do what people would do normally, and then leave. But then, in seeing this infrastructure, we decided to revamp this clinic. So, I know there was some 500,000 that was going to be spent here. We still don't have the numbers. But whatever the number is to turn this into an eight last certain kind of institution. No matter how much it is, because I think our people deserve better. And I am sure that if you go to the certain clinic, you are not going to see these numbers. But you are going to see a better facility that serves they're privileged on the other side of the M1. And I think our people deserve that. Um, we're interested in rehabilitation.
because when you get injured on the road, suddenly a lot of things can happen to you. Others become quads, others are maimed in a very big way. And I think it's important that we try to get as much as possible out of trying to save your life in the golden hour. But also we don't want you to get to the end and say, I wish I was dead because if I was rehabilitated better, I would have been in a better position. I think rehabilitation becomes important. I don't think that we have focused on it that much as South Africans, but I think it's important that we rehabilitate you back to as much as closer to where you were before you got injured. And I think that's important. Contrary to popular belief, Mark, we don't sponsor I Blew It. <laughs> we don't. So you see people in I Blew It that have millions and they have never been to massacre the clinic and they were never rehabilitated because they never really needed the rehabilitation. They also never needed the millions that they have. So for us, that's what I'm saying. We are going to spend as much to make this an A-class facility because we are spending money on I blew it when we must spend it in the right places. And I think if we want to envision this NHI, it is organizations like RAF as funders of medical services that must invest in the public facilities. So I know I'm known for controversy. There is a Pinoli hospital that has just closed. It's called Sunshine. It used to behave like a rough hospital because Coincidentally, they never wanted people to come to this clinic. In fact, they used to steal people out of this clinic to them. They steal patients in public facilities. But our patients are ready to be stolen because, let's be honest, when you come in a facility like this and you visa, even if you're going to get a better service here, vis-a-vis -vis what you are going to see when you arrive at Sunshine Hospital, which one would you rather prefer? To be stolen. So, uh, people were asking, so when this Sunshine Hospital closes, where will the people go? And I'm saying Alexander CHC. So we're not going to only do this thing. We're going to have to put in medical equipment yes. so that when people are here, they don't only get to get into an A-class uh, facility, but they also get the A-class the treatment they deserve. And I think we must give a round of applause for the community here, but especially the leadership here of working in these trying conditions and doing the best for our people. Our mission is to ensure that we give the best quality, efficient healthcare service. So if we're having the correct equipment, um, the structure is up to date, I'm sure our patients will be getting the best care that they can. As we have noted in the statistic, we are having a lot of PVAs and MVAs together. What you're doing today is important. So I want to thank you, have fun, and a little bit of laughter. Thank you.